with respect to Richard and what he's done, I thought, you know, this guy's adding a lot of value here, but you've got to look past some of, you know, so let's face it, some of his interviews um, can be quite confrontational. And so it kind of, for a number of people, that puts them off. But I think that's the wrong attitude. You've got to look past that and really understand what's the motivation here. I know it's a bit of a long way of saying this, but I can remember there was one particular video, and I think we've spoken about this, and I'll call it out, but it was the one where Richard spent a fair bit of time with Peter McCormick. I've actually said to Richard in that particular YouTube, I said, this is the, this is the particular video that impressed me the most that actually had me believing you, right? There, I've looked at a lot of his content. That was the one. And the reason that I started to think, hey, this guy's got a lot of value to add, was for the first, I think it was about 15 minutes, Peter was just really, he was, some of his comments were completely inappropriate. And, you know, he was just on the attack and no foundation for anything that he was saying against Richard. And then I thought, oh, this is pretty awful. You got to a point where that part of the interview ended and then Richard just took a deep breath. He stepped back and he, and he started to raise the sort of questions that he had hoped Peter would raise, but didn't and then started to unpack answers to those questions. So he was attacking his own product and actually answering. And I thought, why is this guy doing this? He's doing this and he's adding value. He's adding value to his audience. And he did that in such a, I just remember for anyone that had been attacked in that way, it was quite confrontational, but Richard took it so well and then went on to really add value to the people that were there. I thought, all credit to Richard. And that was the one video that changed my mind about what Richard was about.